that button. Hi, everyone. Hi. Ian's here. Professor Ian. I am. Um, I just noticed I'm drinking uh, a sponsored beer. This is Yingling Black and Tan for Pokemon Black and White. Wow. I just finished a Oktoberfest of Sam Adams. What does uh, that taste like? Uh, it tastes like beer. <laughs> just a little bit, indication? a little bit like, I don't want to say darker, but yeah, like a little bit of a darker beer. That's how Sam Adams does fall <laughs> beers. They're just like, let's make it a little bit darker. It's still basically it's actually, a lager. Yeah, it's pretty good. And, uh, I, I don't mind it. We bought it for a party and now I have like 15 of them left. I'm like, oh, oh how'd your birthday party go, you piece of shit? Huh? That was good. Backyard barbecue. And uh, I put um, I have this projector that I hooked up four consoles to before one of them finally played a DVD for me. Um, nice. And uh, I played the thing and uh, Arm uh, no, Armageddon. We kept saying it was Armageddon. It was <laughs> Die Hard with a Vengeance. Uh, gotcha. I'll um, I'll let the, co the copyright holders know that you broadcast that to a yes an audience. to a party. Thank you. I there was a chance that I was gonna show up as a surprise to that party, but. The fact that it was a week after I got back from Europe and that I now have to go on a business trip tomorrow, which is the day after, I was like, I can't do it. But I was totally going to fly <laughs> in on Saturday, get a hotel Saturday night, go to your party and then fly back. So it would have been, been easy for me to do. It was just too much stuff around it. That's all. I get you. Just um, give me like 25% credit. There was a genuine looking up of flights. So I get at least partial credit. You do. You do get partial happen. credit. I did also do a screening of a very bad movie that I'm going to show to you guys. Um, oh, yeah. And people loved it. Uh, especially hey, real quick, the real two quick. music I apologize. video portions. We're getting too excited about just talking. Uh, That's true. Any changes to your party? Oh, yes. Um, I've deleted everyone. No. Um, I got a pan pour. Did we have that last time? Oh, I did not switch over to the game. Well, let's, let's go. Okay. So you got a pan pour. Let me, sorry, this is going to take just a smidgeroni. We got a pan pour. You got the blitzel. Uh, you got a pan sear. You, you doing just a panty party? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I I do panty also have party. another. Uh, I have the pan sage as well, but not using him at the moment. Is that a tim Is that a timber? He's a, he is a, I almost said grinder. He is a girder. <laughs> girder. Gotcha. Is that the evolution of timber or? Yes. Okay. And you got Alvis, which is a, a, a what's his, what is he? It's the, he's the evolution of Rogan Rolo. What is it? Rogan? Is he a roller? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Bold, Boldera? Boldor. 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 Um, I have to switch batteries. I'll, actually, there's some right over here. Okay. What's that other boy's name? His spear, not sparrow, spar. Jack Sparrow. Chat, I need your help. What's the name of that fucking idiot Pokemon in the bottom right? He's a far, far fetched, far Uh, far No, it is um, Tranquil. Tranquil. Okay, all right. And then that's good. And I pause, I'm just updating this. Oh, thank God. I was afraid this controller disconnected. I'd have to restart the game, but I do not. I'm going to change the background, too. Might as well. Let's just see what it looks like. Um, You got uh, Oldor, right? Yes, ma'am. That's my name. Cool. So, yeah, Wear the evolutions like of these guys, the third evolution of these guys, I'm moving on. The third evolution of these guys is the trading one, but that doesn't happen until, like, the 50s, so... I forgot the badges. Uh, I apologize, Will. Wow, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I'll fix the badges. So previously, you made your way to Sky Arrow Bridge, and you crossed it, but you didn't explore any of the city, and then I'm guessing you just went back and did some grinding because you can't help yourself and you wanted to play Pokemons. Is that right? Yeah, I, I went and caught a bunch of people. Um, I think I'm still missing Throw, I think is his name, and one other guy, but I didn't, I didn't really look around for them. But yeah, I was just... Um, leveling up in the rustling grass uh, because it's the best way to level up. Don't burn yourself Ooh. out with all this unnecessary grinding because you will have to finish the game regardless of your feelings of it. 
No, the gr the grinding's not. I prefer the grinding in this game than to um, fire yes. red. The yes. grinding in this game, I walk back and forth while watching TV, and when there's a rustling piece of grass, I fight that Pokemon, and the amount of XP I get from that Pokemon is like I did 15 battles. Nice. Um, oh! You evolve in one of them? This guy just asked me which one I want to evolve. Do you want tips? I mean, I have all three. I'm currently using Pan Seer and Pan Poor. Um... I think I'm gonna do oh. Pan Poor because Pan Poor is my water. Yes, yeah, Pan Poor is is a higher tier than the others. So, so you're gonna evolve Pan Poor into what? Oh, I, I can't even think of a stuff. good. Can't even think of a good joke name for him. Oh, so Pan... you don't have to upgrade. You you don't have to evolve him now, but you can no, if you want to but later. Can you tell me what level? Uh, is there a level requirement for like water stones and stuff? Pan poor when to evolve. Yeah, there might be. Uh, they might say when, so I can get a certain move. To evolve Pokemon. Black. Uh, when to evolve Poke poor Never. The monkeys are a waste of a stone. Oh really? Uh, the, I don't. I don't trust that guy because that's. Um, let's see. Hi, Sibylla. Sorry, I didn't have chat open. Hi, Sibylla. I, I see you. you yes, I am using Pampor over my starter. I did, I did upgrade Oshawott to Asha... who? Uh, whatever the Asha Volt. Is. It goes from uh, Watt to Volt. Oh, that's pretty good. I was doing... Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like that. Asha how? <laughs> Asha you can, Amp. It, you can wait for Brian at 34, or you can wait for Crunch at 43. They said 34 at, at least. I, I, so I, I would say I have a 34. Ways to go, right? Yeah, I would say 34. It, yeah. And the only reason I, I, I was semi joking about the Dookie name, I really don't care about that. But on that tier list, Panpour and Oshawott are the same tier, and they're like the same use either. Yeah. So I, I was already leveling Panpour, so I was just sticking with it. All right, let's party. And everyone made fun town. of me in Fire Red for the uh, for my starter the being my joke. Pokemon. So. Do you know GeoNet? I need some context. No. Globe on the second. Oh, floor. I this think that's Geonet. the multiplier. You GeoNet, and you can register the place for that. Okay, I don't care. Hi. I mean, no, but might as well. I'm here. This is, this is like, I don't want to say this is the best part of Pokemon White because there's a lot of fantastic parts of this, but coming across that bridge and into Manhattan was just like incredible moment in this game. Yeah, I was kind of sad um, we broke it up, but at least I got the completion of doing the whole bridge cross. Like, that was Yeah, fun. it's because the city is a lot. So, like, I wanted, I, I, I like the cliffhanger of you go across, and then you're like, oh my god! Oh, the fossil turtle? Yeah, see, I picked the wrong fossil and I didn't get him. I want a fossil turtle. Let me tell you which one that is. Listen, bud, I'm playing on an emulator. I can't trade with anyone. Oh, I should register my location. Am I in Afghanistan? You get anything good for your birthday, baby boy? Um, I got... Um, I showed off that Fortnite thing. I got Minecraft Legos. I got some books. I got the uh, Star Wars Trench Run book bookshelf Lego display. So it like goes between books. Ooh, that's good. Um, that's good. I put it on top of my Xbox Series X because it's laying sideways and it lines up pretty well. Um, Is you I got the books? Uh, no, because actually on a bookshelf that is deep, it didn't look good because you could like see behind it and it looked kind of crappy. Because so. you don't know how to read. Yeah, Yeah, because I don't know how to read. Um, Let's do Iceland. 
Yeah, that's it. Oh, where in Iceland? <laughs> right, right there. No, 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 I gotta pick where we were. Okay, oh, so you know the... We're right there, aren't we? Actually, actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wait, it says... Oh, I have to do it there? What? I don't know. Oh, oh, I registered it. No, now we're good. Um, I got the Norwegians expansion for Feast for Odin, which is very exciting. Because I'm not a big Feast for Odin fan, uh, which oh. surprised me. Uh, we we had Chris and Vic over and we played it and we all absolutely had a blast. Um, the Norwegians expansion is one of those expansions that you just like, you add it to the base game and you always just play with it now because it it gives you yeah. an up. Oh, look at all these people. I know, right? What? It um. This is very New York. Wow. Um. It comes with like an upgraded uh, action board and everything and kind of like fixes mm -hmm. stuff. So nice. And then uh, I got Root as well, which I'm very Ooh, excited to play. Root is supposed to be fantastic. Yeah. Asymmetric, etc. We were going to play it, but um, there's only two of us and you can play two player, but they recommend four player for like your first couple games. Yeah. Oh, look at that cool Pokemon. Power to bewitch people. Okay, don't talk to me. Well, that's good. Happy birthday, asshole. Thanks. I'm 58 now. What Minus are you, 20, 20, 28? I, I 28. keep forgetting how much. Yeah, you're four years younger than me. Okay. Yeah, you're the, you're, you're the same I'm age as Zach. That's how I'm I the same age as Zach? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, 90, right? Yeah. Actually, 90 inside, 50 between my thighs. <laughs> you imagine having a 50 centimeter 50 year old penis? <laughs> oh no. no. I meant age. <laughs> it's just old, wrinkled. A lot of uh, experience, wait, buddy. Doesn't, doesn't stay awake long. <laughs> Can't. Oh, look, I'm at Game Freak. Is that where I am right now? Game Freak feels like an inappropriate name, doesn't it? Really. Like, if you told me Game Freak was, like, the name of, like, a Patreon studio that makes, like, porn games, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Gorsh? <laughs> 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 Gorsh? <laughs> Fuck. Ah! He's I love that everyone just moves out of your way. Did you see the uh the Ubisoft presser yesterday? I did I I um I just looked at the like the highlights uh same Z's for the infinity stuff and Mirage I think the leak was wrong about Hex being Holy Roman Empire. It looks like it's North American witches because it was like, you know, like Blair Witch style in the woods. I, and that yeah, sucks. It feels like it was a mistranslation. I feel like someone thought it was Inquisition and then it got translated to witch trials and then they still thought it was Inquisition. Yeah. And, and the other thing is it's called Hex, which is like, oh, right. yeah, that's definitely which. So let's excited. It should have been Inquisition. It should have been like, what, 13th century Spain. What? Yeah. Should I let this woman massage my Pokemon? Yeah. Is this a sexual um, thing? I did. Speaking of Assassin's Creed, though, so I, I have my hopes up because they changed a bunch of the, the, the cover art on Xbox a couple days before the press conference. And they've been talking about how Ubisoft Plus, which is the Ubisoft subscription service, they've said it's coming to consoles, but it's been months now. Mm -hmm. And so I was I was hoping they would they would drop it, that they would be like Ubisoft Plus is now available on consoles because I've been wanting to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey and some other Assassin's Creed. And rather than buy them, I was like, I'll just pay 10, 15 bucks and play it for a month. But they didn't. Um, which sucks. Yeah, but they put they put all the Assassin's Creed games on sale, so I bought Assassin's Creed Odyssey for twelve bucks. 
So oh, nice. at least That's I got a good that. Path. Yeah, and I started playing it. It's it's good. It's pretty good so far. I'm only like an hour in, but it's it's the same as Origins, and I liked Origins, so yeah, I'm happy. With I it. um, I reinstalled Valhalla because I was like kind of on Ugh. like a Viking high and Assassin's you Creed. Fucking idiot! You moron. And, uh, Jesus. No, it's just because I I was I'm not that in much into Vikings, but I was excited for Valhalla until all the reviews came out and they were like, this isn't this isn't Origins, this isn't even Odyssey, like this is a step back. No, it's it is because it's 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 annoying, and I thought like I love Vikings, so I was like hoping that would suspend me. So I, I think I'm gonna uninstall it again, but um I'm gonna give Syndicate another try because I tried that after Abby Russell gushed about yeah, it. Yeah, that one's supposed to be good. Yeah, and I did actually enjoy it. I think. Something came out, as always, around when I was trying to start playing it, so. You can play Odyssey. Like, I'm an hour into Odyssey, and I just came across this quest where they're like, oh, these bandits, you got to go kill the bandits. And I was like, okay, whatever. And they were like, we don't know where they are. So I had to go to the scene where the ambush happened and, like, investigate and gather clues to then figure out where they are. And I haven't completed that quest yet, but already I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. That's a cool little quest. Yeah, you that's know. not bad. I um I, I I'm not into Greek mythology that much. I'm but again I'm not into Egyptian mythology Ooh. that much and I like origins. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you ever misread shift as shit? No. <laughs> he never looked at me and just go shit. Uh, for the longest time I always misread friend and fiend. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, yeah, so I've been playing that, but I, I think I'm going to play my trip. It's a work trip. It's cross country, so I'm definitely going to have some plane time and I'm going to have some hotel time. And that's going to be two things and two things only. Better Call Saul and Splatoon 3, baby. Ooh. So, so I'm excited. Perfect timing. Moist. Got him. Oh, the pop oh, the and dancers. Lock. What's the dance? Hey. Oh, yeah. 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 My knee ain't breaking. They're oh, yeah. aching. Oh, you should buy a bunch of lemonade from here, by the way. It's it's like the cheapest health potion. It's like the cheapest I remember per fire red. heal. Hell yeah. If only this little... I know. ...didn't happen every single time. I, I know, right? I just tend to, I just tend to put, pull my phone out, and then I just hammer the A button for a while. <laughs> Scarlet Violet are coming. I, I stopped watching Scarlet Violet trailers because I, I don't want to be overloaded. I kind of want to be surprised by stuff. So, you know, I, I, kind of the same. I watched that half of that, the latest trailer enough for me to be like, oh, this is way better. It looks already way better than Arceus. And I was like, I stopped halfway. And I'm like, OK, I'll, I'll probably play this. Yeah. The only thing they Isaac, happen... happy Hi. birthday. Hi, his birthday. Um, Aren't you the guys only thing they haven't. Uh, wow. <sighs> the only thing they haven't announced is how you catch Pokemon. They're probably. People aren't sure if it's going to be the RPG way or it's going to be like Arceus. I think it'll be like Arceus. I don't want it to be like Arceus. I, I do want a little bit of a, a battle. I think Arceus took it a little bit too far. Who that man? Who that man from the elevator? Oh yes, Scarvio. It looks. I would say it looks better in the fact that there looks like way more to do. The graphics still look awful. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a better designed world. Than, yes. Than Arceus. Arceus. Then Park. Can we call it Park now, Pokemon Arceus. What, Park. What about yeah, Polark? Pretty good. We call it Polark. Pokemon Legends Arceus. They definitely need to overhaul. They need to is overhaul. They need to wait to for the next slur gen. Or am I wrong? Polak <laughs> is a bit of a slur. 
Okay, that's what I was thinking of, and I didn't know the severity of that. But that's not like a... Clearly, since you said it casually, it's not a bad slur. Uh, well, let's not make that assumption. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. In meetings, you do say a lot of words. I forgot in Die Hard uh, with a Vengeance at the beginning of the movie, he wears a sign that says, I hate slur. <laughs> what does it say? It says, I hate N-word. What is it... What, I don't. I don't get it. What's it say? And he has to. He has to wear it in Harlem. Yeah. Like that's what the bad guy makes him do. That's a and good I movie. totally forgot about that, and I forgot they just show it. I'm like, oh, that's on the side yeah. of my apartment right now. Yeah. Oh, I get to go upstairs. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, so I'm just going up. I I think just explore everything in the city. You want to find the two dancers, and then yes. I think if you, I think you try and leave at some point. And that's when it kicks off the story. Let me double check in my giant Pokemon black white guide. Um, Sibylla, I, I agree. I, I don't think it looks very good um, visually, but I'm excited to like try it out, you know? Yeah, I, I, I think we're mostly just comparing it to Arceus, which was bad, really bad looking. I'm ready for that Switch Pro hardware. It's time. Okay, that's guys past speaking time. German. Castilia it's just, I, you, you know, now you mentioned it, I think the problem I have with it is that they designed a game too much for the hardware. You know, like, they they know what the Switch is capable of, and instead of making a game that's like 2D, 3D, and has some special stuff on top, but maxes out, but like, looks fantastic, they decided to kind of be like, what can we get away with? Open world, fully 3D, etc., etc. Yeah. And I, I think that worked for a while when you're like, wow, this is running on the Switch. That's cool, but it's it's too long in the tooth now. So I right. I want, if it's you make it a like, Switch game, you dial it back. Dial it yeah. back so it doesn't show. Like design it for, either design what you want and what you're envisioning for the Xbox and PS5 and PC, or make, like at this point, they could make an incredible, probably Pokemon XY level of game. Yeah. Like, super yes. detailed, awesome world. Like, uh, like, like Link's Awakening almost, where it's just like, it's 3D, but it's presented in from a single perspective and it's fantastic looking. Which I think and hopefully um, runs better, though. What was the latest remaster that just came out? Heart. Was it Heart? Uh, Mega no. Ruby. No, 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 no. Those were a while ago. Yeah, uh, you, Sibylla has it. Um, a brilliant, brilliant time. Yeah. Yeah. Those but uh, were... but I, think it's cause they chose, I think it's cause they chose the wrong art style. Yeah. Yeah. But I just mean like, it's, e it's easier to make a game to that type of game and have it not look terrible because of the Switch's hardware limitations. Whereas if you're trying to go full 3D like they did with Arceus and the new ones, you're going to hit those hardware limitations immediately and then it's going to be like 720p with aliasing out the ass. Yeah, exactly. And I think... Um, hey, did you, get, did you get an EXP share? No, I need to get that. I would love that. Um, okay. I think they did that with Omega Ruby and Sapphire. I had played a little bit of Ruby when I was younger and they had changed it to, I believe, like X and Y, and I thought that was a good upgrade. Yeah. Because uh, it played that style well. Go upstairs. Okay, so, so the story's gonna advance when you try and go to the Pokemon gym, but just make sure to go everywhere else first and get the dancers. Copy you. Look at that guy. Yeah. I'm trying to think a better way of describing what I'm saying, and I think it's that don't try and max out the Switch hardware style with something that it is not capable of, like a huge giant open world game in 3D. Find a style, you know, like 2D, top down, isometric, etc. That that is totally capable within that hardware, and then make that look fantastic. I do not. Yeah, know you're that right. Fact. Let's go. Let's go. Did look pretty good. And I think it's because you know. That limited top-down-esque view, like you're limiting the view frame. You don't have to draw a lot, but man, a 3D world, you're just asking for trouble. Yeah. I wonder what this password is. Probably get it later. Is this 
the game company? No, I'm just going inside all these buildings. There was a party didn't you I already, went to. Did you, did you already go to the game company? Yeah. Can you check your stuff? You didn't get an EXP share? I thought I got a TM. Oh, that's the wrong button. I just wanted to call it out. You should equip that, like, ASAP. It's going to be under items, probably at the bottom. No, I didn't. I'll go back to it. Let me double check. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh, no, Battle Company. Oh, Battle. Sorry. That's okay. Um... I just wouldn't leave this city. No. Uh, is that yeah. leaving the city, I assume? Yeah, north of here is leaving the city. Yeah, I think you're right, Sibylla. If they simplified the models, it would work better. It's like, I, I fully support them trying to go to, like, the 3D over-the-shoulder third-person type thing they're trying to do. But the Switch hardware, man, it's just not. You gotta be a wizard. Aesthetically and programmatically to get that working and looking good. Evio light. Oh. Oh. Thanks, dude. Yeah, Forgotten World looks pretty good. The only, the only weird thing is it feels like the it feels like it's almost too bright and blown out with the colors. But it's also limited levels. You know, like they they designed it well where they're like, hey, we're doing a limited area. A little bit of a limited draw at a time. It's not like you're trying to look across a plane full of Pokemon. That's true. It was just kind of... I haven't really played that many Kirby games, so when I started for Forgotten World, and it just was, like, hurting my eyes how bright the colors were. <laughs> it's just like, Jesus! Even, like, I, I played a couple of the Super Nintendo ones since they've been on, uh, like, the Switch stuff. And, yeah. uh... Who is this guy? Um, even those, like, you get to the main menu, and it's like, hey, choose from four different stories like it's it's the kirby games to me have always been like weird it's like yeah it's like you never know what you're gonna get in them other than an erection yeah other than an erection because then there's like kirby's air ride just nobody in this lobby yeah, sure, I'll go to the second floor. Take me to the 2-4. To the 2-4. Take me to the 2-4. To the 2-4. Whoa, whoa, oh. Radioactive. There's just no one here. I'm just in an empty building. Pokemon, Game Freak, why did you put this in the game? Take me to the 2-4. The 2-4. I, um... So, Sibylla, I'm just curious. I didn't get to talk about this on local chat because I had a bit of a power outage. Um, Forgotten World is very cute and fun, but it's also very simple. <laughs> it is like, like, I'm not the type of person that buys into, like, Nintendo as kids games because I don't think that's true. Because um, even things like... Even things that are geared towards kid a little, kids a little bit, like Pokemon or Splatoon or like Super Mario Odyssey, etc., there is still enough mechanical depth in there to like be challenging and for it to feel good and all that. And Kirby Forgotten World is very simplistic and very easy. <laughs> gotcha. So that's that's a staple of all Kirby games is that they're very simple. Okay. Did you find the other two dancers yet? 
Uh, no. I found someone I thought would be a dancer, but they didn't fight me or say anything. There's something weird about this, like, survey thing, and I just... They ask you to run around taking surveys, and I just... I... I just never did it again. It looks stupid. Yeah, this is something I feel like I will do... When I... I just... I didn't even know what I got from it, so it's just like... I don't know. What, what? <sighs> cool. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do that. Just no, just do that. Yeah. Uh, the problem with this game is you think questions will... left at 8. <laughs> You think you're skipping the line and then it answers the question. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I just had to say no. <laughs> All right, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Do it, boo. <laughs> I wrote die. She says, what a wonderful phrase. It warms my heart. Okay, I'll talk to all these people when I'm not <laughs> streaming. Hey, excuse me, are you a dancer? Oh, I'm a dancer. Hey, excuse me, are you a dancer? What's this way? Oh, another... Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm a dancer. I'm a demon. I know this is obvious, but this game looks so much better when I'm streaming it than when I'm playing on my 3DS. Really? I thought it looked great on the 3DS. It's like blurry. Why do you hate the 3DS, the 3DS so much? I'm okay with the 3DS, but it's like Why, it's so not blurry. a bad. It's a great console. Why do you hate I it so much? I love the 3DS. Why do you hate it? Will answer the question. Jesus. I wonder if we're using different things on the 3DS to run it, but probably not. Probably not. Maybe your 3DS is just a steaming pile of big old do do You can monitors. fix that, but you have to hold a specific set of buttons when you launch the game? Excuse me? Fix the, the text speed or the blurriness? There's no- wait. Where did the text speed come into this? Because we were talking about text speed a while ago. No, text speed's fine. The blurriness. The oh. blurriness. I gotta look I this up. I'm not calling you out, that. but... I just like, daddy don't know what you talking about, boo. Daddy don't know. Daddy, daddy don't know. I could be an artist. You ever think about that? What kind? What? What kind of artist? Like a musical a good artist? One? Like a good one. I don't think so. I don't think daddy you have the heart. Daddy don't know. Daddy, daddy don't know. Is that your hit know. song? Oh, here's the battle company. Uh, it's, uh, it's probably like my third year comeback song. Like Pokemon White blur Blurry 3DS Does this game look low quality slash blurry on the 3DS like other DS games? Oh, because oh because you're playing it. It's a DS game and you're playing it on the 3DS. I see it didn't look that blurry with me. I guess but you weren't ever playing it on PC. No, but at the same time it looked fine to me. My name is There's Ian. a stark uh, difference between this and, and PC and uh, on the emulator. I, th I, I think you're lying to me, baby boy. Why, why lie? Why lie? I don't think it's the fault of the... Why you lie? 
I don't think it's the fault of the 3DS. I think it's the fact that the emulator just looks way better. Why you lie? Because it's higher resolution. Oh, the game auto fits to the screen size, which is bigger than the DS, and that makes it look blurry. Oh, because it's not like up resing it properly. I'm gonna pull my 3DS out because I don't believe you. But let me know what it's running. On. Why you lie? I'll be right back. Villa sent it. I change the screen size. Hold start and select during the boot up of the game. Okay, I will try that. Yo, you want to see um my sweet ass 3DS bag? Thank you, Sibylla. You ready? Yeah. It's uh Abdullahman Halab and Sons. It's one of those like bank teller cash bags. I got it from Lebanon. Yo, it's really cool. I like that. So it fits my charger, my 3DS in its case, and my USB 3 3DS charger cable. Yeah, my my 3DS case just pretty much fits the 3DS and maybe like two games. Um, yeah. So well, I, I have I, I have to, this case. That's that's as exactly well. what I have. Yeah. yeah. But I just, this came in handy because I can put all the, the 3DS specific charger in yeah. it as well. Yeah. I, I bought a braided uh, USB 3DS charger. Ooh. I got two for like 10 bucks. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. Actually, I don't think mine's braided, but it, Ooh, this guy it was nice when I got balls. that. Because when, when you travel or even just charging it, it's like, I don't know how to take that stupid charger anymore. Okay, all right. So the version that I have is, I'm playing it through Twilight Menu Plus Plus. Yeah, see, I, I'm through NDS Bootstrapper. So that might be Yeah, so that, that could be the problem. Because when I looked it up, people basically said Twilight Menu Plus Plus was the best way to play DS games on the 3DS. And then I just loaded the, the ROM. I'm going to start it and I'm going to run it side by side and we're going to see what it looks like. Yeah, I wonder if yours is just a better emulator because on the 3DS, this looks like a DS game. What do you mean? Like low res, like a DS game. But it is a DS game. I know, I'm not saying it's not a DS game. I don't understand what your point is, though. DS games were low res and look shitty. That's my point. But I don't know why. You, why what are you expecting? different that's the problem that's what anything. i don't understand my whole point is that it looks way better on the emulator on my pc because obviously it would it's up res i'm just saying for me it's a stark difference because i'm playing it in two different places but is for it, you it was it, never a difference is it actually up resed on your pc because i'm seeing like giant pixels and shit yeah the pixels are up res it's nearest neighbor but it's way better resolution than what's on the 3ds so okay so i mean i kind of see what you're talking about about like a little bit of blurriness but i think the thing is that this i i, I don't want to get into the whole crt debate etc but like this is how it's meant to be played right like the whole thing of like you're not they designed it for a screen and the screen typically blurred the pixels a bit does that make sense? Yeah. So like, I don't think it's blurry. It's like it's like when you play an old game on a CRT, it looks blurry, but it's not. That's that's the intended effect. Like it wasn't meant to be pixel sharp. So I think this is like a pixel sharp versus original image argument and not a blurry thing. Yeah, I'm on board. Yeah, because I'm looking at it and it, it it's definitely not as crisp as yours, but it it looks fine. It's really just like the fucking 3DS screen is not good, so. Oh shit, you know what? I just realized I'm playing something new because I, I got past the credits and I saved the game and closed it, so. I'm accidentally starting New Game Plus. Damn. And there there's a police officer disguised as my mom. Excuse me? Sorry, I gotta get through this and save and then I'll close it. I mean, I hear you about it being blurry, but... 
Uh, uh, no, no, yeah, I, I think we were, I think we're taking this to a level where it's more serious. I, I was just merely commenting that to me, it's obviously, I play on here and I'm like, I can see everything like God. And then when I play in the yes. CS, it's like, um. But part of it is also different. the 3DS screens are not good. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the whole point. It's basically. Yes. Oh, I got a fucking stupid rod. <laughs> yeah? Your rod's pretty super, bro? Yeah. God, just let me get to a save point so I can fucking close this game out again. Don't mega drain me. Wake up, See what my total box. My total playtime in this game was 33 hours. I saw an interesting article today. Uh, I forget from who talking about Final Fantasy 4 and like how it's a great JRPG and it's only 21 hours and like how by today's standards yeah. people would complain and I was like people and it's on the like Game Boy Advance fuck. yeah and I'm like oh, I like can play that now without going to extremes here like what's if you paid $60 for a video game what's the minimum amount of hours you would get out of it to be satisfied assuming every single one of those hours is fantastic for a $60 game yeah 15 to 20 really because i i would go as low as eight if, like if, if all eight of the hours were incredible i would be fine with eight yeah i think you're right but part of that is me. Of... i don't play games i don't play a lot of games and i don't play them that long so like for me an eight hour game means like it would take me a week you know yeah i See, think Sibyl, yeah, saying, Sibyl's got eight to ten if every hour is yeah. a banger i think eight to ten yeah. Yeah. Because the other thing is, like, when you think about, like, Halo and stuff, like, I never, I never gave two shits about Halo multiplayer. So I would just buy them as $60 for the campaign, which is usually eight to ten hours, and I would be happy with it. Yeah, that's a good point. Halo 3 and ODS, uh, ODST, I don't think was 60, but Halo 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. And that's eight to ten. You know, you know what I just realized bothers me about ODST? Is that it sounds a lot like odious. It does. Yeah, I can see that. It was originally Halo Recon, but they changed the name. Sibylla's got a good point. There's a one hour tutorial. You want at least 12 hours. I would say for every hour of tutorial, the clock restarts and you have to add four hours on top. <laughs> so if there's a three hour tutorial, then it needs to be eight plus 12 it needs to be 20 hours of game past oh the three hour tutorial what are good against what i look never mind <laughs> i was thinking i was thinking fish were a separate type <laughs> i was about to ask I mean, what was good against fish I mean, I mean they kind of are <laughs> they're they're water but they are uh, but they're still water type yeah yeah you are going to shockwave yeah, and honestly, I think what makes me the the most mad about that discussion is I ain't got fucking time for 60, 70, 80 hour games anymore. I barely got time for 40 hour games. So when these people get mad and I know what they're advocating for and it is something that will directly harm me if it becomes yeah. standard in the industry, I'm like, shut your mouth. All right, you are hurting me right now. You are you are hurting me. I think the perfect game is a game you could finish in eight to 10 hours or you could get 30, 40 hours out of it. And yeah, that's I think something. Yeah, the game I'm I'm playing a lot of Fallout New Vegas, and I'm 36 hours into it. I play it very casually. I'm having fun. I stopped for two weeks, and I was like, "Oh, I think yeah. I'm done with it." And then I just picked it up again. Like it is such a casual game. Like that is the perfect for amount. For casuals, like, yeah. I, I could, yeah, for casuals. I could have stopped and been satisfied with the amount if I paid sixty dollars for it. And I yeah, you don't even have to finish. It. Yeah. Oh, I was. You're not going to be on local chat this week, but um, in this DLC, they have a they give you a laser designator and you aim it at warheads and you blow them up to like unlock new areas of the map, which is nice. a pretty cool idea. But since it's fucking uh, creation engine, whatever, <laughs> there's no lasers in it other than laser guns. So it's just a laser gun shooting really fast to look like 
one solid oh beam my, oh my and it God. has like one ammo and it's making the laser gun sound it's Jesus. Laser. I was like this workaround for this gimmick is so yeah I, I hate to ham I hate to go back to this again but that's why I like them taking such a big swing on Starfield is like y'all could barely get shit working using the same engine for multiple yeah. games so like I don't trust you you know there's so much stuff in the, that, the the creation engine games where it's like you you figured out what they did to work around doing things um, yeah it's just and so like fun. i'm i'm all on board for workarounds but when it's like half ass like that and it's super apparent then it's just like it's not a workaround man oh yeah i don't work no more the best is like i watched walked up to this rubble this huge tunnel and i walked up and it just stopped me in an invisible wall and said, enter tunnel. And I'm like, come on, guys. Oh. <laughs> you could have made like a little door. Yeah. And the other, my other favorite thing in Fallout 3 in New Vegas is for double doorways. They just put two doors next to each other. Like they're mm -hmm. not one object. It's clearly two separate doors. Yeah. Because the waypoint is only to one of the doors. It's not both of them. Jesus. I love it. Woo! Tie -tie. Yeah, I had some coffee because I was out of it. I had a Mountain Dew. We went to Costco. Mountain Dew and hot dog. That's what you oh, gotta do. I'm jealous. I love a Costco hot dog. And Cos I love Costco pizza, actually. It's very good. I think I've only had it once a couple years ago, and I wasn't that impressed with it. it there's, like, not great pizza around us. Um despite only being like 20, 30 minutes from New York. Uh, so Costco pizza is usually a go-to because it's pretty good. Yeah. We have, we have, we have two really good pizza places we found nearest, but the problem is because they're very good pizza and they know it, it's like 25 bucks for like an extra large pepperoni pizza. And it's worth it, but it, it makes it not like, it makes pizza not, pizza night not cheap anymore. Yeah. So. It's still fantastic, though. I think the best is that there's a Chinese food place near us that gets here in like 15 minutes, and they're super cheap, and they're really good. They have a oh, yeah, they have an egg drop wonton soup, com like combined into one soup, mm -hmm. so good. We haven't found a good Chinese place near us yet. We found okay ones, but we haven't found a great one. Yeah, I, I, I'm i not a huge fan of Chinese food. Uh, like, I used to be as a kid, and then I kind of fell off of it. And then when we had this, I was like, oh, I think I like Chinese food again. We did recently go to, like, three months from our house, is an all-you-can-eat sushi place. How much How much do you think it is for an all-you-can-eat sushi? Uh, 60? It's 20, $20 each. $20, 20 oh. each. And it's all very good sushi. And then they have like, if you want like the really, really fancy sushi rolls, it's like $24 a person. <laughs> so, so like we went there and I was like, this is pretty cheap. Cause normally sushi's like what? Seven, eight bucks a roll. <laughs> so yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. The service really sucked, but the um, sushi was great. Skull. It was just, I'm, I'm going to say something that's questionable, but there's nobody watching. Which is that the sushi, the sushi tasted good, but the sushi roll wasn't quite put together perfectly because it was starting to fall apart and it was a little ragged, you know, like when you look at it, it's not super clean. Um, and then I looked up and I looked over at the sushi chefs and all three of them were like Latino. And I was like, uh, OK, OK. <laughs> it's like one of those things where I'm like, oh, OK, all right, I'll. I'll forgive them. They they got most of the way there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh Jesus! It's, um, it's like I, it's like when, whenever we go into an Asian restaurant of any kind, Maggie has told me the secret, which is that like ninety nine percent of Asian restaurants in the U S are are Chinese owned and operated. <laughs> like it doesn't matter if it's a Japanese restaurant. Or a, or a Thai restaurant or whatever, it's Chinese, it's Chinese owned and run. And I'm like, no. And we'll go in there and you'll like, look around, you'll be like, oh shit, this is Chinese run. 
Not because it's a bad thing, but you're just like, damn, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sibylla, should I replace Water Gun with Scald? Let's Scald it's do less, 80, 100, and it may it's burn. Less, it's less PP, but... Yeah, but it's double the power, man. Yeah. Shut up. How is that even a question? Because one of these days I'm going to do something like it's that. Double. And everyone's going to be Will. like... I can't believe Will, you forgot Will. water. Yeah, but it's less PP. If you could double your PP, would you do it? <laughs> to like 24 <laughs> centimeter? Um, That's still like 10 inches, though. I don't, I don't uh, understand centimeters, so. Whatever you say, Captain. It's what? 2.45 centimeters per inch. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, I just to boost. boost the amount of PP. Boost your Viagra. <laughs> Ice tea. Uh, I know, I never run out of PP. Should I talk about the games that I didn't get to talk about on local chat? No. You know, I was writing the, the description to local chat today, and I was like, man, I cannot remember what games Ian played. <laughs> and then I remembered you disappeared. I talked about Kirby, did get to say my main point, and I didn't get to talk about VTOL VR at all. It's true. That's what you get for having weather. It's pretty funny, though, how I was like, is it raining? I don't think it's raining. <laughs> the power goes out. Did you go back and watch it? Because it... It cut I did like a know. perfect moment. I, I saw <laughs> it. I was like, like this, right? This, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> we keep having these like micro power blips where it literally goes out for less than a second. And so like the lights don't go out, but like the TV and the computer, they, they go out. Oh, that sucks. Uh, this UPS has been saving me recently, which is nice. I'm just too poor for UPS. Like I just... I, I understand the use case for it, etc. But I'm always yeah. just like, I'm not gonna spend that much money on that. It was like, which is I think it was probably eighty bucks decision. at Costco. It was like half it's off. Uh, it's also great because uh, when I turn the printer on, instead of tripping the breaker, it trips the UPS the oops. and it covers yeah. it because apparently printers use the most amount of power when they're starting. Out. Even from sleep, it does it. Fuck you, scientist Steve. He's a shit. Should be the I game, how yeah. Veiny Girder is. He's just so veiny. I know, right? It's like kind of gross, but also like. Oof. I keep wanting to call him Grinder. I should. I should ask Halluch if I can change my name. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I'll fight you. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired. Too. Yeah, maybe I'll go to bed early tonight. I gotta watch House of the Dragon tonight. I uh, I gotta work tomorrow, and then like, basically right after work, I have to go to the airport. <laughs> and then I I'm probably not gonna get to the hotel till like. I don't know, like 12 or 12.30 at night. Dang. And then, I don't know, I probably got to wake up at 7 or 8 and go to... Oh, actually, I got to wake up before then because I got to 7, 8. All my early morning meetings are now super early morning because I'll be on the West Coast. So my 10 a.m. is now a 7 a.m. meeting. That's some hot pot. Thank you. Uh, uh, Valentina's. Sorry, Karen brought me here. Everyone can see. Delicious... Um, what are they called? Meatballs. Frikadellas. What? <laughs> Green Meatballs. Beans. It's Frikadellas. They're European. They're penis? Swedish meatballs. Got it. I said meatballs. Fuck you. Oh. It's really good, though. Uh, hey, did you see the rumors about the the Switch Pro? 
No, I didn't see the rumors about the Switch Pro. I'll, I'll look them up. They're not. I don't. They're not genuine enough to report on and like talk about in local chat. But we got nothing else to talk about. We've been talking about this. So. Ah. Uh... Uh, Park Sage. Let me find it. Mm. Fantastic. Hi, hello, Ja. Hello, Ja. I keep calling this Pokemon Grinder. Oh, hi, hello, Ja. Um. But I do love how veiny he is. You missed the veiny talk. There is the rumor of uh, Nintendo Direct this week, but that shit is just like fucking all over the place. You can't believe Didn't any of those fucking rumors. The queen dying affect that? That's what Grub and some people were saying was that they were thinking about pushing it because of that, but they decided not to. But that shit, that shit has never been. There has never been like verified continuous rumors about a Direct. So it's just like fucking come when they come. I don't care who's reporting on it, you know? There is the uh, the name changer here in the city. Um, when's uh, Advanced Wars coming out? God, I don't know, man. Sorry, everyone, I'm eating. It's really fucking good. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Trump is just the best name ever. I know, uh, that's why you don't give your Pokemon nicknames. Uh, Freakadelin with pasta and green beans. They're like meatballs, but they're like, I don't know. She was talking and I couldn't hear her. I've had them before. They're very good. I think they're like from Dutch, Denmark or something. I can't catch this one, but I will catch a Trubbish. What is he, normal? By now. Nope. Damn. It was more than a year ago, it was last July they announced the OLED model. I forgot there was an OLED, OLED model. It's kind of like the normal model now. Yeah. Little inside baseball, but it's the only w model they'll let reviews go on. Wait. They can control that? They're like, you're only allowed to review this on an OLED? I've said too much. That's, cr that's crazy. Because the, the OLED doesn't even add any power. It's just the screen and the screen size. That's I think, it. I think it's because of gameplay capture like properly but sized. that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. I know it. I know maybe, it. Maybe, maybe they'll only allow external footage of the Switch if it's the OLED model. Like if somebody's holding right. their hands. I think you're actually right because it's not a editorial restriction. It is a video restriction. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That would make Sorry, but, but anyways, they were saying the Switch Pro... It's targeting 4K using DLSS and ray tracing. Uh, completely unverified rumor, but I, I think we could talk about our wish list for the Switch Pro. Jesus, it's terrifying. I definitely want if you can get DLSS tech or something like it on there, 100%, because like that would solve 90% of my problem with the new Pokemon. Scarlet Violet is that there's no anti-aliasing on it. Yeah, that is that was my problem with Arceus. Yeah. I think I think 1080p minimum. It's gotta it's gotta set 1080p 60 FPS as a standard for all the games. Cause that's a problem. Um Actually, yeah, that's pretty much all I need. All I need is like is like hardware that basically sets 1080p 60 FPS as the standard going forward. Because even playing 1080p on the on the TV out, I'm okay with that. It's when you're playing on the TV out and it's still 720 and it's 30 with frame drops. That's when it kills me. Like playing Link's Awakening on the TV 
was a nightmare because basically every time you scrolled the screen, it would like do some hitching. And when it was on a console, it wasn't that bad because it was far enough away from you. But having a giant TV in your face and it's hitching was just like disgusting. Those um, switch up res uh, up resers uh, yeah. actually do really well. Um, one of the guys who does deals at work was did an article on them and said it's like it's not something you can really see when someone like does side by side pictures, but in person, you definitely notice the difference. This is like a an upreser that sits on the HDMI cable between the yeah. switch and the yeah. yeah. I go this way? Uh, what did you... What have you done so far? Did you talk to the people outside the gym? Not yet. You just did Battle Company, right? Because you got the EXP share? Okay. Yep. Oh, I gotta give that to a Pokemon. <clears throat> I, um... Probably I go to the center. Where the final dancer is. Tiny dancer. Which... You did the, you did the top one. What about the other... Which other one did you find? And then I'll tell me where the third guy is. Uh, he was at the docks. Or was the second guy? Check. Uh, Narrow Street. Let me tell you which street that is. Narrow Street is second from the left. Uh, this left. Is the left. Yeah. yeah, so the next one you come across. That one. This one? That's Narrow Street. There should be a dancer down here. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. Right? Thanks, bro. Man, I got really depressed yesterday we went we were we were out shopping and we got hungry and we were like screw it let's just get something so we stopped in at wendy's yeah um turns out wendy's chicken sandwiches are actually pretty good Ooh. um but guess how much a chicken sandwich combo was at this wendy's and this wendy's was just in like suburban jacksonville it wasn't like in times square or anything um 20 bucks no, it was eleven dollars. Man, that's I was insane, going wild. right? That's insane, right? Like it's the and I'm pretty sure in 2020 it was like eight dollars. Inflation is just out the asshole right now. It's cr it sucks, man. Great job, baby. Tiny Dancer defeated. <laughs> Smirk. <laughs> you think they're docking? <laughs> Can you, like... I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> They're Gentiles, Ian. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Oh. Man, Rocksmith Plus is out. I, I Look, I'm not going to, but I kind of want to get an electric guitar. And play yeah. Rocksmith Plus. I feel like that's a stream idea is... I learn rock. I learn how to play guitar using Rocksmith Plus. That's not bad. And it'd be like once a week for like a year, basically. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think if you think you're done, go go talk to the original dancer, and then let's go to the uh, Pokemon gym. Oh my God! There's three of them. 
Have you watched the rehearsal yet? Yeah. Oh, incredible, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah. I, really how good. did? I'm honestly curious. How did how did Karen handle the whole uh, the the Semitic anti-Semitic part? Can I, can I have more meatball? Three. Thank you. Um, wow. <clears throat> I, she thought it was funny. Like she thought the whole yeah. show was great. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was way less anxiety-inducing than Nathan for you. Um, I think he broke a lot more. In yes, this show, but, but in a good way. Like it in felt very, very meta. Like I don't, I don't know if you were following on Twitter, but like, like halfway through a couple of the episodes, like I want to say like around episode two or three, people on Twitter were being like, Nathan Fielder is actually problematic because he's exploiting these people. And then it was hilarious how his next couple episodes were just like addressing that exact point where he's like, "Am I taking advantage of these people? Like, am I doing the right thing here? You know?" Yeah. Um, and then the whole the whole like Zionism thing was just hysterical, like the end of that episode <laughs> when he's like, look, she's anti-Semitic and I'm getting rid of her. And then his tutor is like starts being like anti-Palestinian and he's just like, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the, no. Um, God, what was it? Oh, Karen and I go. And I still curse the day that the Chinese invented gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's days like these that make me yeah. curse the Chinese the for Chinese inventing gun gun powder. Powder. gunpowder. That first episode's so good. And the the guy with his brother, that one's so good too. When he just disappears? Yes. Yeah. God, if you guys haven't haven't watched Nathan for You or the rehearsal, you need to watch both immediately. That show needs oh, to so win, Billy, like, you can play the song literally. Like That's oh. cool. I tried to, you ever tried to play guitar? I tried to play it, and it, it the guitar is yeah, fucking nightmare. I, um, I can vaguely play the ukulele in the fact that I know, like, four notes. Um, yeah. Which is better than I know of guitar. I used to play the trumpet. Um, I played, I played tuba for school. a bit. Nice. Yeah. I like the trumpet. Um, yeah. Ukulele is just like fun because you can like kind of do it. But uh, I just like the thing about guitar is I don't understand how people can play it so well because it's like it's hard to push the, the, the strings down. Right. And it's hard to do like the chords where you're just like manipulating your fingers. And then it's also hard to strum any one of the six fingers, the six strings without looking. It's like it's. It requires so much dexterity. It's insane. Yeah, I like I don't. First of all, I have very shaky hands and I and on top of that, I just don't have finesse and I'm not good at like doing like I, I, if I ever played the guitar, I don't think I could pick. I think I would just strum. Yeah, um, yeah, because it's it's it requires a lot of like it's not like hand-eye coordination, it's like not looking coordination, you know? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It, it's like, uh, as someone who has to look at a keyboard when I type, uh, there's no way I'm not looking at a guitar when I'm strumming. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's it's crazy, though, because the handful of times that I've picked up an electric guitar plugged into an amp, it's like, fuck yeah, you know? It's just like, give it to me. What's going on? What did the guy say to you? He's uh... He said to go to the pier. But maybe this is the wrong pier. Wait, no, go to the pier that you just missed. Oh, is that a separate pier? That... See, the separate pier could be a park. Oh, no, no sorry. I, I it's, it's it's the the angle changes that confuse me. Yeah. I'm right there with you. My buddy. Those bastards at Game Freak. See, they need to make a fully open world 3D Pokemon. It's going to look a lot better. What? Where am I? You talking to all these white people? I did. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that guy said something about a pier. <clears throat> am I crazy? No, I think you're right. I think I did the same thing where I was there like... 
There we go. Why would you not make it the pier at the end of that road? Took this lady's Pokemon! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do 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 I feel like they can't bring out the Advance Wars remake now because of 9-11. That's what got him the first time. Are you gonna? What do you think about Assassin's Creed Mirage? I didn't actually watch anything about it. Does it look good? Other, it like, looks I heard good. the rumors before they showed it. Let me watch the trailer real quick because I just saw the screenshots and stuff. Assassin's Creed Mirage. I, I'm not sure how I feel about them going back to basics, quote unquote, though, because I actually kind of like a lot of the new stuff they've added, like the the, the birds stuff. I'll tell you what, Odyssey is not that good looking of a game, though. Animations are great, but like the visuals don't look that good. But but Mirage looks pretty good. I can't tell if this is in game or. That looks pretty cool. It's like it's like. It's like Aladdin, you know? Yeah. I that really like Assassin's that style, Creed 1 and 2. So, come on, Visuals look great. Animations look great. I I thought this would be this year, though. I don't know why. That was a mistake. But. There's a flying type. Pretty Ooh. good. A chest over. Do you do you know the Assassin's Creed like or like no absolutely not. I feel like the once or twice that I've looked it up it was very disappointing like it was one of those things where it's like I haven't played these games but I bet the story's cool what's the deal behind the Assassins and then I look it up and I'm just immediately disappointed with how stupid and convoluted it is I don't remember if they marketed this way but I bought that game not knowing about the future stuff First one yeah so when that happened it was like whoa yeah i don't know if they did market it that way do, 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 do. which way did that guy go Hoping asking people would help. Maybe did he and where am I supposed to go next? I the Team Galaxy guy was at the dock. Am I supposed to find him somewhere or go back to the gym? Oh, uh I'm trying going back okay. to the gym. We're good. You were right. There we go. Wait, Jack team. Yeah. Did you meet the Paddle game me. I gotta go pack after this got packed. It's weird. This is gonna be my first time going back into the office since March of 2020.
Damn. And it's not even, I've never been to this office before. So. Where, what, what state are you going to? Or what city? I'm going to San Diego. Wow. And then it's, it's not even like a, like, okay, normally work trips for me are like, hey, go here, meet this customer, do this thing for a couple hours, and that's pretty much it, right? And, like, I'm in charge of the booking, so I'll just be like, yeah, I'll get there a day early. I'll have my own rental car. I'll go do the thing. I'll do some work, and then I'll, like, and then I'm off, you know, and then I'll fly back the next day or whatever. So I end up having, like, a lot of time, even outside of work hours, where I'm just like, let me go to a cool restaurant. Let me go drive around town, town, see what's up. But... I'm going with my boss and my boss is boss and it's a big engineering summit. So there's all these meetings planned. I don't have the rental car. The way the timing worked out means like it's just going to basically be all work and then probably team dinners and then going back to the hotel. So it's just like it's going to be a busy week, but at least I've got Splatoon and Better Call Saul to play to watch. So that's true. Yeah, I because otherwise Halucha, otherwise I totally would have hit you up and we would have hung out, but I I don't think I'm gonna have time. <laughs> which sucks. I'm there from like midnight Monday to like ten PM Thursday. And it's just all work and meetings. we we are definitely gonna do uh San Diego and or uh LA Pixelate at some point. Just a matter of scheduling it. Team Plasma's inside! Inside the building? You gotta go in that building? Did you already go in that building? Uh, is this something I have to do on camera? Yes. I guess. Okay. I can't go yeah. back to the gym right now, I don't think. I don't- I don't think- I don't think you fight the, they keep they the, the structure in this is basically you go to a town there's some story event and the gym leader won't be available until you're done with the story event so after you finish this thing is when the gym leader goes hey thanks for help why don't you come over and we'll battle for the badge no matter we already have exceptional base operations it's the white dragon type pokemon right wow the truth is this, the white dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of warring people. The white dragon is, uh, stood against it together, the power of the Pokemon, Yonite, Land, and Yanova! Not be a hero, baby! And I'll kiss the pain away! Oh, there's some Assassin's Creed Mirage information revealed by GameSpot. Ah. Uh... The series isn't going back to Mirage style of game from now on. We're still going to do Odyssey and Valhalla sized experiences. This is just like kind of a one off. They're doing black box missions. Do you remember what black box missions are? No, I they kind of describe it here. So it's like, I guess they give you an area where the target is and you have to do all the investigating yeah. and identifying and then do it. Yeah, it's it's not present day. There's no present day, and there's not too much science fiction. Thank you. That's really uh, hot. Thanks. Um, he's a very fast protagonist, so that so he fast movement, and he has pole vault that allows him to cross gaps whilst free running. Faster parkour. <gasps> Una. Uh, it takes a hundred play. It takes place a hundred years before the uh, creation of the creed. Uh, this is storyline stuff. Who gives a hey, shit? I want to see the Gaberhood. There are places other than Baghdad that you will explore. There's more of an emphasis on social stealth and parkour. He's not a tank, so you can't really openly engage multiple enemies easily. So you're you're definitely weaker, so you got to be more careful. He's There's more no branching. <laughs> Yeah, he's more of a twink. Uh, no branching skill tree. It's much more focused. The size of it is something like a rogue or a revelations. It's about the same size as Paris from Assassin's Creed Unity. You can do a bunch. You can enter a bunch of buildings and parkour through them. And there is some wilderness in the game. It could be interesting. 
I think you're about to do the gym battle, baby boy. Yay! I swear I'm almost done eating. You know what's on HBO Max now that I feel like I should watch? What? Moon Moonfall. It's been on my Plex server for like six months and I still haven't watched it. That's illegal, Will. I forgot what it existed. No, I, I even had the to look. Blu-ray and I ripped it. I had to look at destroying your own property. That's disgusting. I I even had to look up. I was like, Moonfall is that the one? And I had to look it up. Like that game, that movie came out and left. Yes, Halucha, I will visit at some point. Yeah. I would like to see all the chill bars. Yeah, I um, that I was on board for that movie, and then like a detail about the plot came out, and I was like, oh, it's a little bit stupid. Um, I've heard. I, I I feel like um, this sounds like one of those movies where he has fully embraced what it has, what he has become. Yeah, you know, and like there were parts of Independence Day Resurgence, or whatever it was called that were good, like the whole moon part and stuff was good. But then towards the end, it got worse. But I feel like he recognizes who he is and what he does. And now he's yeah, he's embracing that. We talked. Oh, it was it was last week's episode. I watched Predator. The, I, yeah, I've never seen it. It's pretty good. It's on Hulu. Oily. I mean, it's 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 very it's much Hulu. an 80s action movie. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fine with that, though. Yeah, I honestly I think I, I've been wanting to rewatch Commando because Commando's great, and I've been wanting to rewatch Running Man because Running Man's great, and Total Recall. Total Recall's great. Okay, you not zoom in on a parsec window? That sucks. Step on the switches on the floor. Did you fight Kenor Lenora? Who's Lenora? I think that may be the. Let me look. Let me look it up for you, baby boy. He has two badges. I'm gonna talk to this clown. And then I'm gonna fight. Yeah, him. he fought Lenora last stream. Yeah, I whooped her butt. Harlequin? Like Harley Quinn. Oh! oh. I get it. What does this one do again? I'm just gonna headbutt him. <clears throat> I get it. Swaddle Swaddle Shut the fuck up Swaddle Oh, that's a bug. I was thinking it was Swaddle well, you we still get her. Land of paid. <laughs> yeah, I was at the party and then I peed. And I peed everywhere. When I peed. Then I peed. When oh, I floor. peed. Then I peed. You're an illusion. <clears throat> He's juggling three Pokeballs, but only had two Pokemon. Come on, Game Freak. Venabit. Oh, folks watching the chat. I'll give you a little bit of a honky-tonky tease tease. 
Uh, we had a very productive meeting today planning Extra Life 2022. That is true. It's going to be pretty good. We're doing it in person at my house. It's going to be cray cray. It's going to be great. So I'll I'll send out the address to everyone. I'll tweet it out. Yeah, come on by. Come on by. For extra life. I after I did the schedule, I realized we need more segments because we we actually started running out of. We have we have a couple hours to fill minimum. Yeah, I can think of some stuff. I think I had another list somewhere. Yeah, I mean you can always look at last year's and the years before list. There's there's stuff left over from there. I was just, uh, yeah, this year we gotta think of like either like always like co op stuff. Yeah, and we have that co op list stuff. We're gonna be doing it in November, the second week of November, second weekend. So it's the 12th and the 13th. <laughs> well, that's you. Nice, excuse me. Take Great that. job, buddy. I just want to say, you're doing a good job. Thanks, bud. It wasn't it even a real butt? I know there's another button back up there. Oh, I'm just going this way for a second. What does this do? Ah, I knew it! <gasps> I am an idiot. <laughs> Honestly, after this show, I think I'm just going to go straight into white too. I don't know, man. Took me 33 hours to play this game. You maybe played out, but the other thing is that I I I got I beat the Elite Four in the story, but there's a whole bunch of stuff after it as well that I just decided not to do. True, I could probably do that then. It's like good to have these in my pocket for like knowing what I want to play next, you know? Yeah. Well, I was looking at the calendar the other day for what's left this year. Let's take a looky. Let's take a little looky look. Um. Wait a minute. No. What? No. Don't tell me. Oh, yeah. I was about to say. Sorry. I, I originally originally Warhammer 40k Dark Tide was supposed to come out this Tuesday, but it's been pushed to November 30th. Damn. So I gotta I gotta move that on the calendar. That would have been great. Uh next Wednesday, Gundam Evolution. Next Thursday, Slime Rancher 2. Uh Grounded gets out of early access the 27th. Railgrade comes out the 29th. What's Railgrade? So that's the that's the factory rail one. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh, Forspoken's on the 11th. Is that still true? No, Forspoken got delayed. January 24th. Holy shit. I mean, I don't want to play that game anyways, but... Yeah, me neither. Callisto Protocol, that's December still. Uh, Dragon Ball The Breakers is October 13th. October 20th, Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Scorn is the day after. You guys should play that on Spooky Pixel. Yes. Gotham the Knights. Giant alien dicks. Gotham Knights the 25th. Honestly, I may play Gotham Knights. Uh, Bayonetta 3 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 are on October 28th. I feel like I should go back and play Modern Warfare 1. Not the original, but the the most recent one, because people say it's really good. 
Yeah, I didn't finish it, but I, I did enjoy it. November 8th, Skull and Bones, baby. Boo, 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 boo. I'm excited for that. Uh, the next day, uh, God of War shit a rock. You're such uh, a... November 17th is Company of Heroes 3. November 18th, Pokemon Violet and Scarlet. Uh, November 30th is War Ragnarok's coming out still. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, and then uh, December 2nd is Marvel Midnight Suns. Stalker 2 is still, it's probably pushed from this year. The last release date was December uh, yeah. 8th, but I think they pushed it. December 13th is High on Life. That could be fun. Oh, absolutely right. not. It could be. It's at least uh, different. Did you not watch that video from the, uh, About whatever? The kid? I don't he just think I did. had the gun talking to the kid. Oh, I hate Justin Roiland by himself. <laughs> I don't mind Rick uh, and Morty, but I, I mean, it's a game pass game. So if it's at least mildly amusing, I'll play it. But I, I, I was just pointing that out to be like, we, we still got some good stuff coming this year. Yeah. Slime Rancher, you know, I played Slime Rancher one and I liked it, so I, I'll probably play Slime Rancher two. Oh, we're just in the void. All right, let's do it. Gym fight. Berg. What is that? What does that mean? Gender. What does that mean? Oh yeah. I don't know what I'm not calling you out or anything. I just, I genuinely don't know what that means. Could you? Help, help me. Nice. <laughs> That's good. Furious it's like typing. porn. It's like porn. You know it when you see it. Do you mean uh, the way I'm taking it? Well, I don't know. I just want to like go sit on the couch for four hours and play Assassin's Creed. That's all I want to do with my life right now. Then, well, I mean, pretty soon you can do that. Yeah, I think you're on. I think you're doing great here because I'm pretty sure you're over leveled and you've got the right types. So, what's a dwebble? Like a dweeble? street rat kill a dwebble? Uh, it's a trans thing. It's like you see someone or something. And you're like, wow, I wish I could present my gender like this. Huh. You mean like they're a shining beacon of what gender they are? I don't think Berg is like that, though. I think Berg is like, I mean, unless you like consider bisexual a gender like that's that's the energy I get from Berg either 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 bisexual or asexual that's what I'm getting from Berg oh like they're 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 very clearly expressing their their gender gotcha hey no using hyper potions everybody be vigilant we're about to see Berg again Okay, now GNC, I don't know what that means. I'm gonna look that up. Urban uh, Dictionary, GNC. G, 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 uh, gender non Gender non -conforming. Okay. See, I know what that means. I just didn't know the acronym for it. Okay, gotcha. He's definitely, definitely GNC. I agree with you. Yeah, Galaxy News Radio. GNR. Mm. Stop using hyper potions. I <laughs> give you a wake up slap. <laughs> <laughs> one day, Halucha, one day. Show you real life examples. 
Mm. Can I touch the examples? <laughs> Consensually? <gasps> Moist grew! Suck it, Berg. Look like a clown. You look like yeah, Pennywise see, there he before is. he turned into a clown. <laughs> God, I would lose it. <clears throat> Dope! It's like a little bug wing. Half of a bug wing. The bug flying out nice. there with only one wing. Let me add that to you. Oh, whoa. We have fucking Pokemon's caught, eh? <gasps> Struggle bus! Thank you. Ugh, let me go through your disgusting honey walls. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you honey my walls real quick? Jesus. My wife, she loves... disgusting <laughs> things I've ever seen. <laughs> she said. loves it. My X transceiver is ringing. Mm. Hi. Oh, I haven't seen characters like this in a while. Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Irish train me I'm uh, stronger. Meet me at the gate of Route 4. Yay. Uh, let me go heal my Pokemon, and then I'm going to fuck this little girl up. Oh, battle. that's right, because you have to do the, the partner battle. <laughs> Alright, so I think after this partner battle, we can probably call it today, and I'll tell you what the two or three things you need to do are. But before we do that, we need to talk about should he get the cover fossil or the plume fossil from the backpacker? And I'll, I'll give you guys some information in the chat. Pretty sure there's a correct answer. Thank you. I don't want to see you again. So you can only pick the plume fossil or the shell fossil, which is the shell fossil is Tortuga and then the Caracosta. Or you can do the plume fossil, which is Arcan and Archaeops. I believe the tier ranking says that the uh, the uh, Archaeops is better. That's my understanding. In Fire Red, did I ever turn the fossil into a Pokemon? I think you did. I don't remember. Let's go beat this little girl, and then I'll tell you what you can do before the next stream, and then uh, we'll see you on Tur Tuesday. 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 And you won't be here Tuesday, so you have to send me my between Tuesday and Saturday. It's a, it's a public document that I have shared with you, I believe. I only have a screenshot of it that you sent to me and Jason. Wow. It's the only... I, I didn't know if I was allowed to look at it, so I never That's fair. asked for it. Yeah, I don't think there's really any spoilers here, but I'll, I'll okay, tell you perfect. at the end of the stream anyways. Ditch the monkeys, they're Garbo! What do you mean they're Garbo? They're high on the tier list. At least Pampor is. I need a good fire Pokemon. Yeah. I'm gonna share this tier list with the chat. Schnitzel. Schnitzel we like this tier move. list. We like this tier list because it ranks Pokemon on how available they are, like how easy you get them and how early in the game you get them. Their type against the gym leaders in the Elite Four and kind of, you know, stats and move pool on top of that as well. So it's not like, oh, the best Pokemon in the game is the legendary that you get at the very end. So Sibylla's saying to get the turtle, the shell fossil. There's a Pokemon called Bastiodon. That's a sweet name. Yeah, I'm a veiny boy. God, I'm Wrangle him with them veins. I want that whole girder in me. <laughs> Sorry, we need to end this. Absolutely. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to switch Pokemon. <laughs> I'm 
Sorry. <laughs> it's got too many edges on it. It was very good. Do I want cake? No, I'll have, we're almost done. I'll have it after. Thank you, though. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> uh... I don't. I don't want it in me in a sexual way. <laughs> Just want to feel what it feels like, you know. Yeah, like when someone lands on a piece of rebar in a movie, you know they're done. That emo Haluchi you just did, I swear, it looks like Jan from uh, Giant Bomb, because he did an emo like that at one point, and I always think that's him. Wait, why do you have more health again? Okay, I need to do a different Pokemon, apparently. Alright, do you like electricity? I don't have my cheat sheet with me. You need some help, oh baby boy? You want me to go No, we're good. You fucked up, didn't you? We can add emotes. Oh yeah, the old logo is still an emote. Oh that. yeah, that's a good point. Bunger, bunger, bunger. bunger VIP, bunger, bunger. excuse me. What does that even do? I, I make it so you can it. say you hate Mexicans again and I have to allow it. How <laughs> not to allow ban it. people on Twitch. It says I just have to click your username and then the three vertical dots and then I select block username. Oh, that's easy. That's easy enough. Oh, I hate when these monkeys see me. Oh, these are users recognized by streamers as loyal members of their community. How do I do oh, that? Oh, yeah. So wait, why would we do that? Got him. Fucking got him. I'm going to see if I can... I can mod you. I can cheer you. I can prime... I... What? I can... How do I VIP? It's not there. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You play the game. You play the game. No, I would just wanted to look because I was curious. Okay. Oh wait, I think I got it. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, Hello Shy. That was a joke. You are one of our most loyal members. I mean. Saint Hal Halu Halucha, am I pronouncing that right? Heh. Look at this buff boy! Damn! Pig Knight! Damn! There you go, I think y'all VIPs now. There they are. Oh, absolutely, Halucha. Oh, hello, you'd appreciate this. My, um, I was changing the sheets on my bed, and on the top and bottom oh, of it, it says, it just has a little tag that says top or bottom. And I was gonna take a picture of it and be like, man, my sheet's asking the real questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I thought it was funny. Oh, looks like this Dom doesn't like to get wet. Like Mickey or Minnie. Who is it? Mickey Minnie's clean it up. Disney. Did you, uh, chat, did you see the Disney Platinum hats where it's supposed to be silver, but because they took the pictures me, on a white background? Uh, well, let me read the, let me read the description. Oh, let yeah. Let me read the description. Disney sponsors Subpixel when? When they. When they resurrect Walt, 
Ah, uh, <laughs> here it is. Okay, so they're basically like they're the, the Mickey Mouse ears, and it looks like they're dripping chrome. So they have like the female version where it's the headband mini. They have the male version, which is like the Mickey with the cap and the Mickey ears. And and the quote is, this is from Disney Parks. This is their explanation of the uh, headband. Quote, Minnie is dripping with excitement. <laughs> she celebrates the centennial of the Walt Disney Company in her typical fashionable style with this ear headband. Uh, has a special reflective platinum dipped effect. But they start it with Minnie is dripping with excitement. All right, Will. You get to, between now and Tuesday, you get to go through the desert, Route 4, the Desert Resort, and Relic Castle. Okay? So, it's all, it's okay. All, it's, it's on the sheet. Yeah. Well, let me let me update the sheet slightly, because I get as I thought we did. So, let me put it in the sheet right now. Okay, I've saved my game. It's in the Mama sheet. sheet. So... Route 4, Desert Resort, Relic Castle, you are not allowed to go into Nimbasa City yet. Not so on Tuesday, to to City. on Tuesday, you're doing Nimbasa City and Badge 4 and then Route 5. Gotcha. Okay. And you can, and honestly, if you think you're going to do Route 5 after, after the stream, you can end after you get the badge and just do <clears throat> Route 5 before the next stream. Okay. You'll, you'll see it on the chart. Okay. And then there's uh, there there is a there is a fossil choice between plume fossil and shell fossil in relic castle. I suggest you look it up. The recommendation from the chat is that you take shell because it's a preferred Pokemon. Uh, but they're two different styles of Pokemon, so it's kind of where it's going to slot in your team. So I would I would highly recommend looking that up because I didn't and I kind of screwed myself. Uh, the, I haven't been to Route Four yet, so I will catch a Scraggy if I can. Um, yeah, Route 4 is coming up. Yeah. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Hello, Chisabella. Long time VIPs and loyal fans. Thank you for being here and uh, watching me play through this game. Uh, I have been Will. That's Ian. Uh, we will be back Tuesday. So definitely tune in. Uh, it'll be me and Karen. No, Ian. Professor Karen's coming in uh, to take over. Uh, and she's a mean one, but she's firm. Heck of a slap. Folks, thank you so much for watching, uh, and we will see you all Tuesday. Bye. Bye.